Elon Musk's SpaceX not only blasted 11 satellites to orbit Monday night, but also brought the towering first stage booster back down, with a historic landing at Florida's Cape Canaveral. It was the company's first launch since its unmanned rocket carrying cargo to the International Space Station exploded June 28 a failure that had tarnished the company's long string of successes. SpaceX employees at the company's Hawthorne headquarters gave high fives, cheered and chanted U.S.A, U.S.A after the rocket touched down on a concrete pad about 10 minutes after the liftoff at 5.29 p.m. Pacific time. Welcome back, baby. Musk tweeted after the landing. The company says it intends to try to reuse the first stage booster and its nine engines an engineering feat that could ultimately help to sharply reduce the cost of space travel. It is the first time that a rocket has been successfully landed during a commercial launch. This is great for the industry, said Eric Stalmer, president of the Commercial Space Flight Federation, shortly after the landing. It will push us to boundaries where we haven't gone before. The successful landing comes at a crucial time for America's commercial space industry. SpaceX had become the sector's rising star, winning contracts for dozens of launches from governments and companies around the world.